you're tough, but you are a true hero. And I, I am so, when I travel around the world and I spend most of my time traveling around Asia and different places, people all over the world, when I say I'm from Austin, Texas, they say, do you know Alex Jones? And I get a big smile on my face and then we have a nice conversation. All over this planet, people are listening to Alex Jones. And, and that's yeah. not about me though, it's just a no, benchmark it, of the popularity of liberty. Absolutely, but it's also about you in that you have had the courage to speak the truth, you've had the determination and the willpower to stick with it, and you've had the smarts to develop a mechanism to get this message out. And so, and besides that, Alex- Well, with your help, brother. Alex, besides that, he, behind all the gruffness, he's a really fun guy. I mean, he's really fun, and he knows a lot more stuff than he lets on. And so, anyway, I'm really happy to be here. I haven't been on the show for probably over a year. I've been in uh, Southeast Asia for most of the time. And, you know, the bottom line, we, it, it's amazing that we even have to talk about this. You know, just one week after another, there's just one more false flag event after another. And, George, you could be part of the establishment. We don't brag about you, but, I mean, your, your family are famous industrialists. You've been incredibly successful in clothing lines, uh, uh, real estate. I mean, you're, 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 I mean, you could be part of this system. Well, yeah, and, and, and I have benefited in some ways from the system, but I also know that I love my family, I love myself, I love my country, I love Austin, I love freedom, I love this planet. And the bottom line is, I've been studying this stuff for oh, 25, 30 years, and the reality is, is that every, not everything, but almost everything you're saying is right on. And we're, we're talking about the sustainability, the life of this culture, the life of our families, the freedoms that are, are so dear to us and actual life itself on this planet. So you, even though you, you are very strong about this, this issue, the issues that we're talking about are so much bigger than even 99% of the patriots of this country have any idea. I about. totally agree. I mean, the rabbit hole is so deep. We are fighting just a force of pure destruction. It, it, it's, it's, you know, just... Let's just back up a little bit. There was a movie called Eyes Wide Shut with Tom Cruise in it. And it's a great title. But almost every day I go outside and I always look around. And four out of seven days there's chemtrails up in the air. Four out of seven days. A strangle in the breeze. A str they're all over. And almost every day when I see them, I look around and I say, I look at the people. And 98% of the people never look up. They always either have their uh, their view about seven or eight feet down in front of them or just, but they don't look up. And then when you ask them, what are those things up there? The cognitive dissonance, their eyes go kind of glassy. And only about one out of 10 people will actually say, well, what is that? The fact that they that, that we are being sprayed. And they admit they're doing it. We know the names of the programs. We're going to skip this network break. It's incredible. It is unbelievable. <laughs> Friends, this is, you know, we can talk about so many things, but this is eyes wide shut right in front of us. And our own government is spraying toxic material right on top of us. And only about one out of 100 people are even aware. And Bill Gates is in The Guardian telling us why he does it. <laughs> it Bill Gates runs the major program and gets money through the Department of Energy. And it's, it's, it's public and no one even knows it's there. In the, and literally, you and I have seen them tiptoe, you know, put lines crossing like in a tiptoe pattern right across this. And I'll be out in the golf course playing golf or on the driving range or playing tennis. And I ask my friends and they don't even want to know. That is the amazing thing. Everybody is being poisoned. The GMOs, the Tamaricel, la, 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 la. And we're going to go into all of this. But the amazing thing is not the people, them, the people who are doing it to us. It is our own people who are so mind controlled. The cognitive dissidence is so strong. And the ignorance is so amazing that our own people are going along with the slaughter. They're like sheep going in to getting slaughtered. 
and it doesn't have to be that way. And the thing I love about you, Alex, is that you provide, you have this courage that is contagious. And, and it takes courage to say, no, I'm not going into the slaughterhouse doors. I'm not doing it. And you know what, friends? We don't have to. There's another way. We don't have to go down the yellow brick road and get wiped out. We don't have to do this. There is a better way. We can have a new paradigm. We can turn this thing around. We have the greatest country in the world. We have still a lot of great people here. And we have the answers. We have renewable energies. We have the economic systems that we can turn around. And we have the consciousness. And all of this... It's not about political or economic or media. If people just awaken, it's over. Where would you say, where would you say, George Humphreys, our guest, where would you say, my friend, we are currently? Because there's a huge awakening happening, but at the same time, other people are getting deeper into control. Or then I have deep understanding, you have deep understanding. I catch myself even acclimating to the corruption and, and just going with it. Well, we are in a, first of all, third, fourth, fifth, sixth dimension. It's all binary. There, it, there's all duality in, the, in, in these systems. And so for every negative in what we call the negative, which is the Tamarisol, the gun running, the, 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 the GMOs, all these things, is that there's also the positive. And we have to understand that this is a free will universe and that we as human beings, we can change. We don't have to go along with this poison, the poison of our minds. We, by first of all, listening to shows like yours, Alex, and getting objective information. And then we have to make a choice. Are we, are we going to go down and fight with these people? Because we can't fix this thing. You know, like Buck Miss can't, can't fix it fighting. We well, you know, all it. I've ever said, all you've ever said is nonviolent. Yes. Don't be violent. I can see them pre-programming to cause a civil war. Speak yes. to that briefly, and I want to go through some issues with you because well, you're, and yeah. you're also an economist, I should well, add. Yeah, and I've spent a lot of time in India. I've spent about four and a half years in India, and Gandhi is, you know, I've lived at Gandhi's house, and I believe in what's called satragaha, which is nonviolent civil disobedience, and creating a new culture out of our own higher ideals. We can't go along with the existing paradigm, but we do have the tools, the wisdom, the ability to change things. And that's what you're doing, Alex. All these good products that you sell on this show, like inner food and the things that we can do to make ourselves healthier. So number one is get informed. Number two is love ourselves. You know, By the way, about a year ago before you left town, you challenged me to get even healthier, and I have. I'm still not great, but it's, it's a process. Well, you know, your eyes are a lot clearer and your complexion's better than I've seen you for a long period of time. We can all get healthier. And, and, and the fact is, is that our slave masters, they're not my slave masters, but the slave masters out there, they want to pre-program us as human resources to, you know, tap out at about 65 or 70 years of age. And you know what? We have the ability. They don't want elders around. They don't want elders, but we have the genetic ability through the DNA to live a lot longer, and not only longer, but with a lot more vitality and a lot more fun. Because the th three things that we got to remember is life, love, and joy. Life, love, and joy. And if we're full of life, having fun, and, and being with good people. People aren't going to follow us. They're going to awaken right beside us. Exactly. And then that will change things in a chain reaction. I agree. But first we have to identify, and I want to give us some positive exactly. stuff with you, what the enemy's doing. What do you make of just the total lawlessness, legalizing all the illegals, telling people worldwide, dump your kids here, we'll pay for it, Obamacare, as you know, written. I mean, you're an economist, well, economist trained. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, you know, you've run the you know, city of Austin, your name's on so many buildings down here. Well, I, I mean, talking to folks run businesses, you name it, what are they currently doing? Clearly, as a layman, they're trying to shut down the economy. Well, Alex, <laughs> that question, you and I could sit here for the next three days and we wouldn't finish it up. But what you, one of the things you're talking about is that we now have 21 to 32 million illegal aliens in this country. Now, I'm not saying the illegal, if I was, if I was a poor person in Mexico, I'd come here too. But the point is, is that if There's I- There's a political if, weapon if, going if on. If I go to Mexico and I overstay my visa, guess what? I get fined or I get thrown in jail. And where I travel around the world and I pay attention to the laws of that country. And a, 
And if we don't protect our borders, we have troops in 118 countries, and yet we don't protect our Obama borders. is advertising, come here, and the planes are landing every minute. <laughs> and they're just, and, and, and they just go right through customs, you're here. It, it's a, I, it's a, if I fly back into the U.S., I get a proctology <laughs> exam. <laughs> and it's amazing is that this is going on right in front of our eyes, and it's politically correct not to talk about it. You know, you've been called a racist, and as I have been, and that is the craziest thing in the world. I've known Alex for 20 some odd years. But it doesn't even, I mean, the point is the whole world's imploding. It's in, yeah. Why do the globalists want to overrun the borders? Well, be, well, first of all, because the United States is the last potential place of freedom. Our constitution is an amazing document and there are still good people in this country. And folks from other countries have no idea. And they have no idea. And the people, the power elite, the, the, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call these people, it's all about power to them. They care not. And not they, give them, they give them a, an ID to vote in California and other states. It's over. Game over. It's, it's, They're going to vote to take our guns, everything. Alex, there, I'm, I know you've talked about this 10,000 times. There are 47 million people in the United States on food stamps. Think about that. 47 million Almost people. Almost 50 now. I, people, million, million people on food. That's more people that live in most countries. That is one out of 8.5 people in this country. Now, here's it's California and Texas. Here's the, here's the crazy thing is that there is even more money for corporate welfare than is going for social welfare. So we have this welfare on both sides, the right and the left. And, you know, the people who are in the middle, the productive people, the people who have the small shops, the small businesses who work for a living. They you don't pay your taxes, a SWAT team's coming. It is unbelievable. And it, I'm sh I know that you've talked so many times about the IRS looking at the, the Tea Party and the conservative people who are opposed Political to persecution. Yeah, it, it's going on, folks. It's, it's very real, and it's not right. It's, 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 it's so illegal. And yet, because the people of this country have swallowed the blue pill... They've swallowed the blue pill. They don't care. And because they don't care is the apathy is that the bullies. It's like if you have a bully keep pushing you, he's going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing until you stand up. And you might get your little tail get whipped. But if you swing back as hard as you can or kick him in the shins, he's going to stop it. Or, you know, better yet, you, you hit him right between the eyes. And the, th and the thing about this is, is that, Alex, you have never advocated violence in in your whole life but you have advocated which i fully agree with self-defense and that is something that everybody should do self-defense is not terrorism it is not and even mahatma gandhi who is my my great guy said it is better to die in battle in a war to defend your country than to die a coward in 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 your country to the heels of your masters. So he was also, he was not for total, he was not for giving up. He was for strong, sovereign action to protect the self and the family and the country and the world. Sure, he was saying at key points, sometimes it's better to be nonviolent when you're attacked to make the point that they're the oppressor so they can't have the fight they're looking for. I exactly. No one to hold them, no one to fold them. And, and, and that's what we need to do. First of all, our our big brothers, whoever you want, to, they've got more weapons than you know what to do with. The, we, we're, we can't, we're, we're in this thing. The now. Pentagon admits they can't win uh, f physical wars now. It's 90% info war. We are not here to be martyrs. We're here to win this thing. I'm not here to be a martyr. And to win this thing, we have to be smart. And the first thing is, is to get the information out objectively so that people can understand. And it just like when you're selling something, you've got to repeat the, the name at least seven times. Keep repeating, re repeating, repeating. And I have friends every day who are wake, waking up. You know, they're on the borderline, they're on the borderline, they're on the borderline. And then they'll hear you or they'll heal me or, or whatever. And then they get it. And once you, once you go through that magic door, once you pull the curtain back and you see how wild this thing is. And I'll tell you what, friends. When I first started doing this, I was really scared about talking about this. I'd say 95% of people didn't know the Federal Reserve was private. But once you start becoming a 
aware of this. Your whole world changes, and actually, it gets a lot better. Yeah, it's fun to fight the tyranny. We're meant to do it. Yeah, and it's not only fun to fight the tyranny, but to go off in a new direction and to have a better, healthier, more loving life. It's cool, Alex, and, and it is, you know, just being here. I love being here because it's so, my heart gets